Hi, Chris. Thank you for uh, inviting me on Spurs Chat Podcast. Um, and thoughts on, on the Wolves and, and Tottenham for this season. I think Wolves have had it really tough selling a lot of good players before the season kicked off. And a new manager coming in, uh, and I thought they're going to be in a bit of trouble. I really did. But I think he's done fantastic. I think him and his staff have been superb this season. And I think if they finish in the top 10, I think that would be a very successful season for them. Tottenham, well, they've got a new manager as well in Andy. Uh, and a new ground, obviously, which is, looks fantastic. Not like uh, the old days when we used to play down there. Um, but I think if they're finishing the top six, they've got to be looking at the top six. I think Spurs are good enough to, to, to do that. Um, it's, it all depends on how the players react to, to the new manager. And I think the new manager is finding his way, particularly, you know, uh, well, both managers actually, at Wolves and, and Spurs. So, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's been half half decent season for both at the moment. My memories of playing against Tottenham, great memories. I can go back 1982, 81, 82 semi-final at Hillsborough. Um, when we got a penalty in the last minute, and I'm sure the Spurs, all the fans, or more experienced fans, will remember that penalty decision. And um, I can honestly say that I fell over Glenn Oval's back foot um, to, to gain that penalty. Um, the referee, as we all know, he always gave silly, make silly decisions. But uh, it, it, I tripped over, over Glenn's foot and, um, and the referee gave a penalty. It was disappointing for us because the replay down at Arsenal, we never really played. Um, and Spurs, dis you know, they deserve to go through to the final. And then, of course, we did the semi-finals of the League Cup, um, the 1972 UEFA Cup final. You know, all these games were fantastic games, great experience for all of us, disappointing for us. And Spurs have always been a bit of a pain in the bottom, um, but always loved playing down at, uh, at Spurs. It was great atmospheres, some great players. They had a great manager, uh, Bill Nicholson. Um, so I've, I've got great memories of, of playing against Tottenham. And it always, when Wolves played Tottenham, it's always a, a, a very difficult game for both sides. But let's hope that they can finish, you know, uh, reasonably well and then build for next season. With both new managers, they're finding their, their way at both clubs. So let's see how, uh, you know, next season uh, Comes, but I think I think the you know the tenth position for Wolves and top six for Spurs will be a very successful season for them all. So I'd like to wish you uh, all the very best for the future as well. Oh, and a little story: when I went in goals, I was only in there for about sixty minutes. Uh, Peter Taylor tried to chip me, um, but being a midfield player, I knew that when I started running out, he broke away, and I started running out towards him. He looked up to see me, and I stopped. Ran back and he tried to cheat me, he was cheat, cheat, cheat me straight into my hands. And we had a bit of a laugh at half time when we walked off the pitch. But it was great memories, um, as I say. Great club, great team. And um, all the very best for the future.